Well, the whole damn world's going crazy. I set up to one o'clock last night, watched them demonstrate all over the United States about that murder. I think some of them, about 10 or 20 percent of them, all they wanted was to break in and steal shit. That don't do no much for their cause, I don't think. Robbery's robbery, that's still breaking the law. The other part, yeah, I can understand that. I think most people that becomes police officers have a sadistic part. Nature. Something. I stopped by the police the other day going to get my damn medicine. He said I was swerving. I said, how in the hell would I be swerving? I'm only going 45. He said, well, that was the number one deal. You were going slower than other people. I said, where in the hell does it say in that damn book that I have to travel at the speed uh, everybody else is traveling? I said, the damn book, and I read it. Uh, it says, drive what you feel is safe. I said, I felt safe at 45. He, he wasn't winning, so he gave up. I said, I can get down to give me a ticket. I didn't even give me a ticket. He said, well, be careful. And he followed me forever until I pulled into the drugstore to get my damn diabetes medicine, which I'm, hopefully I don't have to go back on the needle. I've been eating too damn much candy is what the damn problem is. You get on the road, you want a snack. Well, potato chips ain't good either. There's nothing out there that's good for a snack. I guess I could eat rice cakes, and I don't think that'd be even good either. Broccoli, I guess. Just chew on some broccoli or cauliflower as I go, and carrots. I have to put my damn teeth in there. Yeah. But anyway, the whole damn world's going crazy. I gotta get washing them dishes. Whew. I need to get out there after get my bus ready to go north. I, I took mess of goddamn hiccups. I don't know which one is doing it, but I wish to hell and quit. Hear that? Mm. My dogs won't be up. The little guy is so damn rotten. That little guy is rotten. <coughs> See, my, I hate to show you that. See that brown spot? I caught blood up every morning. I hate to show you, but that's the truth. I cough blood up there every morning. Close my cancer. Hell, I have too damn mean to die, I guess. They said make it real. Well, hell, it's real. Oh, little guy. The little sports shit. He, he's the only one that can jump up on my bed because I've raised my bed where I just swing my feet over and I just stand up. I mean, I don't have to crawl up out of bed. I stand up. So I, uh, he's the only one who can get up there. He can jump, hell, 40 foot high, it seems like. But he'll let me lay there, and he'll let me lay there, and then he'll decide it's time to get up. And then he jumps at me. He'll pounce on me, or what do you want to call it, like a little fox or something's doing. Now, when he tells me it's time for bed, he'll crawl up my lap and lay in my lap, and like, uh, it's time for bed. So, at 1 o'clock, he stayed in my bed, in my lap, from 1 o'clock, from 11.30 to 1 o'clock. Nice guy, and got up. He went to bed with me, and then he about, I don't know, it's about 9, I guess, he decided it was high, so overslept. He's time to get up. I usually get up about 5.30, 6 o'clock. So, he decided to jump at me, and then made a girl... And a uh, big boy and a little guy all went outside, or he's covered up. He stayed up with me, too. So he's, he's sleeping in late. I have to take medicine every morning. That's when I decided I'd talk to you people. This morning I've been spitting up a little bit of blood. Uh, which, I guess it's all right. My throat is so, uh, I have uh, no outer tissue to my inside. My throat is like these scars on my neck. I have to be careful because it takes, for, if I scratch it or something like that, it'll take months for it to get well. A little tiny scratch will bleed for days. 
but that's part of smoking. <laughs> I thought I wanted to smoke. I quit smoking without any after effects. I didn't have no withdrawals or nothing. I smoked because I liked it. I didn't smoke because I was addicted. Oh, that ain't the hell. Last night, oh, I seen horrible stuff. Yes, I understand demonstrating, but I think peaceful demonstration would have been the key. I don't think burning damn buildings and stealing damn merchandise is any damn thing to your cause. All that stuff is just criminal. Yes, I hate to say that, but probably had to do something like that to get uh, get America's attention, that's for damn sure. Get them to do something. Yeah, it was clear that that guy killed that other guy. And them other three just sat there and watched. One didn't even touch him, though. The other two helped hold him down. Uh, murder's murder, no matter how they do it, I guess. That cop that stopped me, he was being a little bit of a dickhead, and I'm the shit out of him. Scared of his ass, touched me. He seen how old I was, and still driving a damn car. <laughs> the little white cop, he might have been 40, 35, 38 years old, somewhere in there. He said, where you going? I said, I'm going to get my medicine. This is what's so funny. He said, what kind of medicine? And I talked to the HIPAA laws. Do I really have to tell them so much what kind of medicine I'm going to go get? But I said, oh, okay, I can give it you. I said, I've been in Nevada, and I was running low on my medicine. And I need to go get that damn medicine because I'm out of it. I've been out of it for two or three days, and I don't feel good. And I'm going to go get my damn diabetes medicine. He said, do you need me to call you an ambulance? I said, do I look like I need a damn ambulance? I said, I'm driving. He said, yeah, but you were swerving. I said, well, how in the hell was I swerving? I said, I hug that little white line on the side. I don't hug the yellow line. That's where cars are coming at you as. I want to be over on the other side. He said, and yeah, and you was, ex you was driving extremely slow. Uh, I clocked you between 45 and 48 mile hour. I said, well, I said, I was only going 10 miles. Or 10, 12 miles. And I said, I only got about a mile and a half to go. I said, I ain't no damn hurry. And uh, he said, well, yeah, but uh, he said, most traffic is 65 on this highway. I said, where in the hell does it say that I have to drive 65 mile an hour? I said, the book I read says, drive till you feel it's safe. And I said, I feel safe at 45 mile an hour. And I said, I feel comfortable at 45 mile an hour. I said, they got plenty of damn room to pass. They want to pass. And uh, I said, some of it's divided highways, so see, I stay over to the right, and they got all the left. They can have all that damn thing for all I care. So he wasn't winning. He said, well, I'm going to follow you to the drugstore. I said, good, you want to pay for it, too? <laughs> it really pissed him off. Oh, uh, give me shit. <laughs> but he followed me there. And our drugstore is not 100% open, so it's a drive-through of all things. So I had to sit there in line with the drive-through. I always get screwed to the drive-through. And I said, well, I said, uh, they gave me the medicine. I said, well, where the hell's my needles? He said, well, the prescription, uh, I said, I need my damn needles. You're supposed to drink this shit. <laughs> so I had to sit there about two minutes before I had to call the doctor and get me my damn needles. I said, well, Shit ain't no good, if, you know, you can't drink the damn shit. And then they said, are you keeping this cold? I said, I got a damn ice chest sitting right here that plugs in the cigarette lighter. So I hear, yes, it's going to stay cool with me. They act like I'm a damn moron just because I'm old. It's extremely old. Hell, I've heard them say, well, most people are dead at your age. Well, hell, thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> That's what I'm Thank you for the damn encouragement. Uh, I've got to get out there and get that bus straightened out and see what I'm taking because I'm leaving here about the 16th, 17th of next month. I damn sure am, or this, uh, in June. And I'm going to stay up for two or three months. Get away from this damn crazy ass murdering and killing shit. Most people don't like the high deserts, but I do. I like the idea that there's only about 25 people in that little town, and that's counting, I think, a 25-mile circle or some shit like that, 25 people. That's a 
about a, a person a mile. And then after that, hell, you don't get no person for 50 miles. And they always say, well, my daughter just got to calling me this morning. And she said, well, Dad, I didn't know you was back from Nevada. And she said, I'm really worried about you going to Nevada all the time. She said, that, I said, well, hell, it's safer up there than it is here with that damn corona. She, they went back to work. She works for uh, Devon Energy. She's the head accountant for Devon Energy. She flies all over the damn world, but they ain't been flying lately. I said, hell, I worry more about you than you should worry about me. And I will tell you something else about the little guy. Got him sport. He sneezed this morning. And they all sneeze every once in a while. When they, when they start sneezing or whatever, I yell, Corona, Corona. <laughs> and they think it's a badass word. And he jumped at me when I yelled, Corona. I said, Ed, you got that damn Corona. <laughs> and he'd sneeze. Uh, and they get, they'll sneeze like they get black pepper or something in their nose or whatever, and they'll sneeze. And I'll yell Corona. They think it's a bad word now. <laughs> you Corona and boy shit, but hell, they're all having a damn fit. Oh, he's getting so damn old. I'm scared to death he's something going to get happen to his little ass. He's not as active as he used to be. The vet says he's fine for his age. Well, hell, I'm fine for my age, I guess, too. But I'm going to miss his ass. He, he'll lay in my lap. I took his collar off yesterday. He act like he was having trouble, uh, I don't know, swallowing or whatever. And he, they've checked his throat. There's no tumors or nothing else. He's just old. Hard. He can't eat the hard stuff hardly anymore, so he picks out the soft stuff out of the dog. So I took his collar off. I think. We're not going anywhere, so I don't need to put his tags and stuff on him again or whatever. So I took his collar off. I'm going to have to get him a real thin one, maybe. Yeah, or something like that. He's got a big wide one. The little guy's got a little thin one. He's the only one that's got a little thin one. Hell, ain't the only thing fit him with a damn cat collar. Uh, but I got to do that. He's sleeping this morning. I always sleep. Um, but I gotta get out there and get that bus ready. Get the hell out of here. Well, the whole damn world goes crazy. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Murdering and killing. I wonder if anybody's lost their lives over this shit besides the poor guy that got murdered. That guy had to know that the damn guy wasn't no damn threat. Really? They trained him to stand on somebody else's neck? And abuse people, shit. You know damn well they're gonna sue the living shit out of them. I don't know what they're gonna do. I just don't wanna be, I've got where I don't even wanna watch the damn news no more. If it ain't coronavirus, it's murdering somebody. Demonstrating, burning buildings down. I like how that one guy put on his plate glass windows, he said black lives matter, and they didn't break his damn windows. He's pretty damn smart. I gotta go. I'm looking around. Things I gotta do for today. That's a good sign. Tell me I gotta go. But remember, human race can be something else. Human nature can be something else. You're only responsible for yourself in life. That's it. The only thing you're responsible for is yourself. You now you take. Uh, responsibility for your kids, wife, and family. But when they're all gone and grown, then you're just responsible for yourself. Like, just like I said, that cop was wanting something to say so he could write me a ticket, but he didn't. He didn't have nothing to write me a ticket on. I should have fucking videoed him. And he's being but a dumb but perkhead. I should have said, yeah, I need me to call me a damn ambulance, call me a wrecker and have my car towed home. And uh, I could have done that. I got that, that AAA and for 77 miles. I was only about 18 miles away from my house. And just hug him up there for about an hour and a half or two hours. That's what I should have done. Yep, I should have done that shit. But why in the hell spend stupid money? Uh... 
and everybody else having to, you know, emergency stuff, and then take place for just me driving 48 mile an hour. I was just looking around, thinking about my thoughts. You guys take care and remember, just hit the bell, hit the button, subscribe, and damn sure make a comment. I like talking to people. Take care.